Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Bricks in 5, where we discuss LEGO content in videos of around 5 minutes. Well, we are back at my city, and uh, today I'm here to talk about something not that I've done, but that my wife did. Um, she spent a good amount of time today uh, messing with her LEGO sets. And for those of you that watch uh, this channel, you may be aware that she likes to collect the uh, botanicals and the Harry Potter, and then a few other odds and ends, but those are kind of her two main things. And um, the thing we're going to talk about today is, I don't know if I've ever talked about Harry Potter really on any of my videos other than, you know, news on Bricking News or something. But um, for those of you that, you know, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you probably know this, but if you're not, um, the Harry Potter sets, they come in modular pieces for the Hogwarts castle. So they're a little build like this or, you know, maybe... Uh, small section like this and you can see there's uh, Technic pin holes and you can connect them together to make a larger castle and so there's a, a number of different sets to do this they did this uh, with the older series they had like gray roofs and these are the ones from I think like 2018 to 2020 I want to say could be off a little bit but but roughly that's what it was and then I think they kind of uh, refreshed the uh, line and kind of came out with some of the new ones. Um, I think the new ones a little bit better uh, Those have like a sand green roof but um, My wife had seen online that some people had taken their Harry Potter modular parts and Combined all of them together to make a set. So um, She spent a good amount of time today. She was looking at other people's videos and, and there's a, you know, I guess kind of a Official unofficial Lego build you could do but she was having trouble because there's not clear directions on how to do it. So she watched some different videos and um, she was able to put something together. I don't think it has quite all of the sets. There's a couple gift with purchases uh, that I think we could have fit in here and a couple other things. But um, the amount of time she spent and the frustration she had, I think she she's good with what she's got. Especially since she doesn't know where we're going to be able to keep this. So we might just have to take it apart anyways. But let me turn the camera around and we'll show you what we're looking at. All right, so there is that flying lesson I was just showing you. But if we pan over here, you will see her massive Harry Potter Hogwarts castle. It looks pretty impressive from this side, I have to be honest. And, and I'm not even a Harry Potter fan. Oh, look, there's Harry Potter in the little magic cloak. Oh, and there's Harry Potter fighting Voldemort. Oh, and there's Harry Potter. Oh, and Harry Potter. Oh, and who's up here? Oh, it's Harry Potter. Yeah, a lot of these have Harry Potter. Uh, it's kind of like Indiana Jones. He seems to come in about every set. I think the flying lesson might be about the only one that doesn't come with a Harry Potter figure. But anyways, this is pretty impressive looking. Um, some of the build techniques are maybe a little questionable. Um, you can see like this bridge here it's not actually connected it's just sitting there but the rest of these parts they're all connected there's some hinge parts back here you can see to kind of make those angles and ultimately i think it makes it look pretty impressive from the front and i can only imagine if i was a kid who was into harry potter how fun this would be just to play with this now, if we come around to the back side, let me come around there and I'll show you the problem we see there. Now, back here, you can see the interior of the rooms. And as far as being a playset, it still works and would be quite, quite effective. However, if you just look at it from the outside, it's kind of an open back dollhouse. I just don't think it's quite as impressive. So there you have it. Uh, like I said, she took inspiration from a few different people. There's a video, I think, by Ashen Flash. Uh, you can go out and see where um, he created this. He added a few other sets. Um, also, Holly on Film, I believe, was another one that she looked at. There was a couple others. I don't remember who she had said, but, um, you know, I want to make sure they get credit. But, you know, she looked at theirs and kind of made a combination of some of them. Um, I, I think we could have added the other things as far as, like, the moving staircase and the... 
I don't know what are they? There's the fluffy dog one. I'm not a Harry Potter guy, so she would she's probably rolling her eyes as she watches this. Um, but there's a couple of others, uh, you know, the flying lesson. But I think we could have stacked them a little bit higher and and made it work. But I think she decided, well, this is kind of it because in order to do this, you have to take a lot of the little modular parts off of here, like these roof pieces come off and you know the other parts and you have to kind of swap those out to make them you know fit and and kind of get this aesthetic so you know if she wants to put them back uh, which we're gonna have to i guess because we don't have anywhere to put them uh, she's got to figure out what goes back to what part so um, i think that part is probably a little bit frustrating so if you're going to build it i would tell you to make sure you have enough space it's like over 31 inches long and i think like at least 15 or 16 inches deep uh, just with these so um, you know kind of a sizable build so there you go that's going to do it for this episode of jason's ricks and five thanks for watching and we'll see you next time happy building